guys, sorry about the uh, the um, the technical issues there. I'm not sure what's going on, but we will work it out. We are stuck with this view, unfortunately. Yeah, so uh, here we are back again. So I'm not too sure what happened there. Yeah, uh, I think it's those batteries. They just they just ran dead. But uh, yeah, apologies for that, guys. We are we are guys and girls. We are back again now. Uh, yeah, I hope everyone finds the stream okay. If you know anyone who was watching, please let them know that the stream has restarted on our channel in a fresh stream. It's a bit uh Thank you, Irina. Sorry about that, guys. Gone back to the dial-up connection. <laughs> Feels uh, like it, doesn't it? Not really sure what happened there, if I'm honest. But um, I haven't missed much of the action. We're still at 5-4 um, to Dom and John. Yeah, they've taken the... Gone ahead in this one. Oh, just having a... Hmm... We should pick up in a minute. <laughs> um, sorry if there is a bit of lag. Yeah, it's a short step. Yeah, I think there's a. There may, there may be something interfering with our network. It's gremlins in the system. That's, that's a technical. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some gre gremlins in the system. Not too sure what happened there. Oh, we just uh, explicit there. Guys, can you just let us know if you're if you're having any lag or anything like that? So good that I found the system. I'm honest. Do you know what? I think I think they just sat back in awe and crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> I got no idea what happened there. Certainly didn't do that. Yeah, I think. Uh, so, if anyone who knows of anyone who was watching the stream, please invite them back into the new stream. Um, we've done our best to try and get everyone back. 
Yeah, we tried to uh, we tried to get the old stream going twice, but it kept on throwing us out. I'm not so sure exactly why. Uh, well, yeah, the old we need we need an IT professional. I know just the guy, and he's sitting in front of the computers. That just crashed. <laughs> oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> one of my one of my many names. Yep. So, it. Um, Bev and Dom here in for the six four. Not enough legs on that. To be fair, if you ever wanted a black like this potted, I would put John Bevan in all day long. Mm -hmm. Now that I've um, cursed that. <laughs> oh, he's definitely going to go for the cart. Yeah. Yeah, I cursed it. Sorry. That's all. Shout out to Adam Wisdom who's watching. He's got his match on Saturday. Tune in at 3 o'clock to watch that. A um, lot of speculation around it of who's going to win. Mm. Yeah, how are you? Uh, let us know in the chat, Adam. How are you feeling? Are you. Uh, well, I couldn't. Well, I can't really say nervous or confident. Of course he's going to be confident. He's looking forward to it. He's Adam Wisdom. He's yeah, going to be confident. Exactly. So is Ben. Oh, Ben's loving it. Yeah, he's. Absolutely uh, loving it. Ben's got an entourage coming. You know, I, th I think he's got four coaches. <laughs> 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 we need a bigger venue. They, they, they hired Ham's Travel to get his supporters down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we'll, have to, uh, we'll have to rent out an arena next time. Sorry to repeat myself, but please do share the stream and get our numbers back up um, to watch the conclusion of this. This tight knit final at the moment. Yeah, this is. I don't know if you s don't know if you saw a few shots ago, but uh, Jan missed quite quite a straightforward uh, quite a straightforward shot because there was a there was a a shout out from the uh, a shout out from the general public which uh, distracted her. Yeah. I thought unfortunately these things happen though when you're in a, s a social club. Yeah, but it is, when you're it? in a club, yeah, these things do happen, you know. And, it, and ev even the best players, you know, they get distracted just just by something. Oh, That's a great, great shot. shot That's a good shot. Great single ball potter. Mm. The hustler Why sits down and, and blows his cheeks out <laughs> after that shot. Yeah. Nice and easy. We don't want to go in the middle of this one. Don't want to curse it like you did. No, there's Jim. Back in for five all. Beautiful. I mean, fair enough. Oh. Yeah, tip for tat all the way. We called this at the beginning, and it's actually nice to be right for once. <laughs> Yep, yep, most definitely. Let's, uh, Let's have a look. Let's see what we got here. Do you know what we should do? Yeah. Let's have let's, let's have a look at the menu. Yeah, because I...
Just caught the back end of that break there. Dom just broke. Keep on. I think we keep it on the main camera there. The other camera doesn't. The Malcolm batteries are not really working that well on it. <laughs> uh, just message with Chris. Chris Burns. What happened to the stream? Um, I'm not actually sure. Just had a, a breaking connection there, Chris. But um, should be sorted now. You know, even the best software, these things do happen. True, you know, true. Yeah, they do happen, and all we can do is try to remedy it as quickly as possible. Absolutely. So uh, we we gave it a couple of attempts, and uh, and it kept on throwing us out the uh, the stream. So we uh, we had to start a new one, unfortunately. So so you you guys didn't really miss that much. Mm. Remember to give us a like, uh, like and subscribe. As we say, you know, we're doing this, doing this for you, so you can uh, sit back in uh, in your comfy sofas, not not like these uh, pinpoint stools that we're sitting on. Hopefully, people rejoin. Um, sorry about the uh, the connection issues. If you do know someone who's watching, please let them know the stream's back up and going. Red's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully this, uh, hopefully this view will be back on board. We seem to have, uh, seems to be a bit, bit laggy. Not too sure why. Yeah, that seems to be, uh, yeah, it seems to be coming back. So uh, let people know. I'm really sorry. Yeah, we just had a, a little setting change, and it seemed to have uh, come back on board. So very, very pleased. If anyone out there knows of a. Um, Someone who can run a bit of technology. We're looking for a position because the other guy's just leaving his job today, believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I think the yellows are looking on here. Dom's at the table. Maneuver this white around the table. With the yellows. Um, the thing is, right, is that, uh, if you can somehow get on that middle yellow straight, you can just screw back for the yellow, the awkward yellow into mm. the middle. Uh, oh, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, that is that not, that's not that bad, is it? Pinpoint accuracy to get those. Oh, that's unlucky. Do 
sorry guys, not gone quiet. I'm just having the Twix. Another one, yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm good, thank you. Like I said, my, my athletic build I need to... Uh Absolutely. Are you guys enjoying the match? Are you? Uh, let us know your thoughts. I think, uh, based on tonight, our, our commentary team name should be Coffee and the Twix. Yeah, we seem to have lost a few viewers when it's gone down. Yeah. Uh, potentially, it could be bedtime for quite a few. Yeah, uh, bedtime. Is it bedtime. better? Yeah, bedtime. Yeah. It's a school night, isn't it? <sighs> really? I don't know. I think I ten o'clock to me is just sort of settling down time. I don't really tend to go to bed by ten o'clock. I can't remember the last time I went to sleep by ten o'clock. God, I think I've I've been up for three days straight. Trying to sort out this glitch, <laughs> yeah. or, to, or to implement the glitch, <laughs> shall I say? Yeah. yeah. Hopefully none of this on Saturday. But um, Paul Hayes, Jan's experience will play a big part in the later stage of this game. What are your thoughts? Potentially, yeah. Mm. Unlucky there. Mm. Oh. What do you reckon he's gonna Still pop, pop the cue ball behind the behind the other? Yeah, should do. Still potential another seven frames to go. Um, so potentially people may be tuning in later just to catch the last parts of the game. Just been joined by Charlie Bub. <laughs> How are you, Charlie? Yeah, Charlie's good. Yeah, yeah. Has he come to do some commentary? Man, <laughs> his stature doesn't doesn't essentially look nice. <laughs> God on the pool table. <laughs> He'll take it. <laughs> oh, numbers going up. Mm. Twelve. All about the views, baby. All about the views. Share, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. Remember to stay tuned for the main event tonight, which is uh, Adam versus Stu. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> you got to look at the uh, the score. Just uh, yeah. we could have a race to one. Yeah, race, race to one ball. Yeah, race to one ball. <laughs> can I break and get two shots? <laughs> or we can. Oh, we we could actually uh, we could just have a leg competition. Why don't we go the whole hog and just flip a coin? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie is a god on the dartboard. You're right. Don't apologise for the technical issues, Pete. It's so nice to be able to watch it all. They're doing a great job. Thank you, Irina. Really oh. appreciate the comment. Thank you so much. Paul. Give her a virtual high five. A virtual high five. I don't know how to do that. Oh, we've got a bit of commentary there. How do we high five, Irina? Um, yeah, it's just, just found his legs and dropped in. So you're going to go to the plant for the middle, do you think? 
great shot. I think that's a bit going to be a bit of a stretch to stretch over there. Yeah. I found that being middle-aged and bulbous built that when I try and do my stretching shots, I usually pull a rib. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be fair, um, I, I'm a lamppost and I still stretch ribs. <laughs> Very nice. You get a nice little kick. Just a straightforward red and black in the middle, and that'll be six five to Jan and Ryan. Yeah, taking these out nicely. Mm. We have Very nice. Viewers back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. The mention of Charlie Bub <laughs> brought us all our viewers. Jan and Ryan, that's it. Going for another game. That's it. They're getting closer, closer to the uh, the, the nine. Yep. Someone please offer Paul Hayes a block of tarim chalk. Watching this this guy rack the balls. It's it's just so therapeutic. Precision therapy, Dave Rob. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't have used this guy, I should have called him by his name really. <laughs> Uh, just a shout out today, Rob. He's a ref for tonight, uh, doing a good job. Don't forget all the refs are in this, this league. They don't, they don't get any benefit from it, so fair play to them. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. Chaz has just subscribed to our stream, so thank you very much, Chaz, if you're watching now. We're not far off the uh, the, the golden hundred for subscribers. Just need a few more. Yeah, seven more, and we're at our hundred subscribers, which would be amazing. We can get it tonight. Come on, come on, people, spread the, the word. Spread the, the the message. Wise Jack is in town, and he's not wise. <laughs> and his name's not Jack. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice because because that is a mile mark, really. What do you uh, mean? A hundred, a hundred subscribers is a mile mark. Yeah. Absolutely. That's very nice yellow there, very nice yellow. Yeah. I st still tip for tat this match. Great yeah. um, right, Are people still enjoying the uh, the expanded view on the length of the table? Or would you rather us zoom into the table more? If you was watching a long money match, like on Saturday, would you prefer this view where you can see the players walking around? Would you prefer it lower? Yeah. Let us know your thoughts. Yep. Very nice. Nicked it. <laughs> yes. Off the red or straight thin cut? I would play it off the red. Mm. Oh. I didn't didn't call that one. 
long view is the better. Um, Irina, that, that view of the table is great. What, the one, okay, yeah? Okay, let's put it back. It's good to know. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, it's the, uh, the the ball's clear. You happy with um, seeing the actual ball playing as well as the players? No. No. Posterior's gone gone to sleep. <laughs> I've got some tapestry to show you. Some tapestry. <laughs> well, yeah. The, it's my part-time job. <laughs> Stu's pulling something out of his bag of tricks, and um, if I'm honest, I think I might be scared. You've got three of these. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I mean, that's what we're talking about. We can try We can try one later. We're not going to tell you on the stream what he's just showed me. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, but we are excited. That looks good. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it a go. Very happy. Spot. All right, ball in hand to uh, Jane and Ryan. Yep. Ball's okay. They're not situated too badly. Staying tuned in. See, uh, it's a long match. Always thought it would be. Exactly. It just sent me quiet. Sim Not many things to do. Oh, it's just not the black safe. Here we go now. Double up is the top. Yeah, I think 
Stumpet. Not quite there. Maybe it's left on maybe the bottom bag as well. Yeah. Uh, so just again, again, this black first six all. Going all the way. Um, just a mention for um, for Dom. We haven't really spoke about him much tonight, but he is he is a good player. He's he's been playing solid tonight, and we haven't really talked about him, have we? No, not really. So uh, so there's, there is no point in uh, <laughs> doing so. We might as well have a. Have a Fair, I'm probably just going to enter to find out my ability and see what fee he charges me. <laughs> but now we're back to the action. Yeah, that's a good break there by John. Yeah, so so getting back to Dom. Uh, yeah, no, I've been, been watching him tonight. He's been very solid. Very solid indeed. Yeah, they always say no news is good news. So He's like a stealth player, you know. You, yeah. you, you, don't, even, you don't even know he's there, but he's there. You know, he's... I heard he's doing um, the business. I heard he's been considered for the new James Bond role. He's that, he's that stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was wearing camouflage. James Dom. <laughs> James Dom. Dom 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 Dom. Anyway, anyway, move, moving on with that. Yeah, sorry about that. It's late. So it's essentially come down to a race to three. Um, let us know who you think is going to take it. Who's who's looked the more solid pairing over the mm. evening? Dom Juan de Marco. What the hell are you chatting about? <laughs> oh, I was, I was still thinking about uh, names to do with Dom. You told me to leave that. <laughs> oh no. uh, what did I know. I think he heard me. He, he just looked over. Anyway, let's con concentrate on the game. Yeah. Nice yeah, very nice. I like it when players use the use the middle knuckle to get position. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, would you say people play for that, or was it just fortuitous? Some do, yeah, some do, absolutely. Jan and mine for the win. Thank you, Annie. Just putting some uh, top left on this. Ooh. Oh, she's used the middle knuckle again. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to count the amount of time she is uses it. Is it double luck and double coincidence, or is it just double skill? Yeah. Uh, double trouble. Double trouble. You can, you can squeeze, well. yeah, squeeze this one in and get it. Do what? Do that. Yeah, I, think, I think they can, uh, rather than doing the straight cut, I think she can play it off the other yellow. And, yeah, and maybe, and maybe, maybe clear the pocket. Excuse me. Send the cameraman to straighten the table up. Here we go. Lovely. And we're on again. It's not a nice 
shot by Dom there. We, we haven't said his name in a while. Who's that? Dom. <laughs> you still want about that? <laughs> well, well now, you, now you mention it, I mean, we haven't, we haven't really talked about it for about three hours, but now, now you mention it, I, I can't get out of my head. <laughs> You're right, Kylie. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like one of those songs, isn't it? Have you, have you, ever, have you ever, like, a, you heard a song on the radio and then it just sticks in your head and no matter whatever you, you hum. I mean, people do say that you should, like, hum the national anthem and then it gets rid of the song from your, from your mind. Have you ever heard that saying? Oh, I've never heard that. Song. Yeah, yeah, they're saying that, you, you know, like, if you hear a song on the radio that, and, and, yeah, you, 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 you but but yeah, gets back to the important stuff. About that, that the song in your head. You, you have a song, song in your head, and you can't get it, and you're just humming it, and you and you're humming the tune for hours, and you always seem to go back to it. And they say that if you sing the national anthem, then yeah, you, you know, you, you try it, try it. Is there a point to the story? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, no. Well, 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 well I think <laughs> Kylie Minogue popped up. <laughs> God save our gracious king. Yeah, yeah nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, you can. Nice little from the dump. Nice little, nice little plant from the dump. Yeah. Do you reckon John be putting some middle right on this? No, no. You should have put. You should have put middle right. You know he hasn't got an angle. So you should listen to the artist. Yeah, lost, lost a turn. Snoop from on that top one, around the back. And then I saw that yet up there. I just told you about it three times. <laughs> it shows you how much I listen. I've still got this. He's watching. He's just cleaned his glasses as well. So uh, I've still got. Time. I've still got Kylie Minogue in my head. <laughs> oh, you see that? Oh, what's <laughs> gone on there? No, he's put the black stuff back. Mm. I think. I think the, the treading him into is a. Uh, into his head a bit there, John. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, but you, you could dislodge the black with your shot. Oh, it's a low a shot. That yeah, that's a fantastic shot. That, that is match winning stuff, isn't it? That's such a good shot. I want to see that on replay. That's something else we, that we're going to look into doing some replays. <laughs> <laughs> Action replay. Action replay. Oh my goodness. Ryan Hussey, the hustler. Great shot. Great, great shot. Oh, it's Dom. Young, young Dom's at the table. Lovely shot. Really good. Oh really yeah. enjoying the feed. Um, we'll definitely be back with you on next week. Thank you, Warren. Keep tuning in. Let your friends know. Um, like I said, we're doing this for the Maidstone area, so you can get involved yourself if you want to play a match on our stream or if you want to commentate, come and do so. And this is the club now, late at night. Not a lot going on. That's because everyone's at home watching the stream. Yep. Yeah, it's uh, not much not much going on. No. Nope. <coughs> yeah, so seven six is fair enough, isn't it? Two away for the from the plate. <coughs> what do they get for winning the plate? Don't don't tell me they get a plate. Oh, I was gonna say a milk jug. <laughs> No, I mean, no, you, you, it's just a trophy, and it's just a, a secondary competition to the main. Not 
try. Yeah, 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 very nice. Very nice. Like we were saying before, it's always always nice to, to get one down from the break. Well, the Yedders are all there. They're all, all there in the open. There is a, uh, a big competition coming up run by Wise Jack, which will be um, advertised in due course, maybe Saturday. Mm. So keep your eyes open for that one. Yeah, we, we try and uh, every now and again we, we do a full production and we organise all the all the pool events as well. But sometimes we just turn up and just do the streaming. So, uh, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run off a new a new competition. Um, yeah. So we will give more information now on Saturday during one of our promos. Not going to give anything away on that one. <laughs> Let's just say if you like Scotch Sevens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that is a joke, we wouldn't. <laughs> oh. Are you sure it's gone? Strip the note. No. Saying go wrong on that one. Ball in hand for Dom and Bev. So looking at the route here, which uh, which way would you be going? Um, I'm always a big believer in take your hardest ball first. So take your pick, which one that is. So I've got the one on the. Um, go back to the left. So I'd go, go for the one nearest the top left pocket first, uh, with a touch of screw back, and then the one near the black's not very nice. There's a bit of work to do here, a bit of work. Yeah, Dom's, uh, Dom's gone for the right ball. Yeah. Wrestled that one. Oh, he's left him plumb on that yellow. Yeah. Bit of work to do though to. Uh, oh, I suppose I could just screw straight back and take the black into the top right. Yeah. I'm sure it does go. Or oh, if you're Sean Halligan, you can go off seven cushions and play the black in the bottom left and off the red. <laughs> While having one foot off the floor. <laughs> and popping on a roller skate. <laughs> yeah. Blindfolded. Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> and it's still probably pot it. Oh, the right option there. Put the little screw back. Yeah, just bit of bottom right, bring it back. Oh, she loves those knuckles. She, she's going for the knuckles tonight, isn't she? Yeah, she redeemed herself a bit after missing the uh, missing the black on the last. that same pocket again. They got the curse of the top right pocket. It wasn't easy because he's queuing up no. the rail there. I mean. mm. Straight rails. Mm. All the reds are there. She's got plan their room. They are. He's got a nice hair Dom, hasn't he? <laughs> I swear to God, Stu. <laughs> so these reds here to put them on the hill for the win. Oh, it would have been nice if they were a bit closer. I oh, know, dude, they were right here. Mm -hmm. uh, Is he going to take the top of the trio? Top of the trio, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, top of the trio. Just stop the white dead. It's just plain sailing. Yeah, it's 
definitely a shot to take. Good play, Snow Korea. Good to stay safe. Do you know what? Feb uh, I think he's left that cut on. I don't know. If he hasn't, that's here. the right choice. Oh uh, no, the cut's on. I don't yeah. know. It's not easy. It's a, it's a five percenter, isn't it? But <laughs> I heard you like your cuts. You like your angles. I call them Kurt. We should because yeah. Kurt. Uh, if anyone watched WWF back in the day, there was a oh. wrestler called Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle. Yeah. So yeah. if you've ever heard me sing, has he got the Kurt? He was angle. a small guy though, wasn't he? He was quality. He was. Oh, back back in those, I was a Stone Cold Steve Austin fan. Love. What? Yeah. What? Uh, what? Three one six. <laughs> oh, unlucky there. Did I ever tell a story that I, I went to a Wembley Wembley Arena and watched the WWE live? Stone Cold Steve Austin, I I made a massive big A0 poster of a skeleton head with Stone Cold 316. And I, I was in my 40s. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pushed well, on 40 and I've started making posters, <laughs> so I get your route. I know where you're going. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. what, um, what event was that? Uh, I've gone on. I'm going back quite a few years actually. It's probably about 15 years, and it was. Uh, so no, no, I was in my 30s. Not 15 years ago. God, I'm not that old. It was uh, the Undertaker was there. Oh yeah. uh, the Rock. Was well, he picked Dwayne you up? Was he? Dwayne, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Rock. Uh, Dwayne Johnson. Uh, rock the Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, yeah. I, I could, I could rattle off several. Kane. Oh yeah, Kane was there as well. There's quite, quite a few. Yeah, yeah. Oh, unlucky there on the black. <laughs> but you know what? So I still tune into WWE sometimes because it. Number one, it, it reminds me of my <laughs> misspent childhood. Uh, plus, it's still it's still half decent. It's not no, the same. No, but well, we used to watch it when it was WWF before they had to before yeah. they had to change the name. That's right. Because of the Cause Wildlife Federation of pandas, Animals. Pandas won. Yeah, exactly. So both here for one position. We've got. Has he got on? Uh, uh, he's played this quite well. Oh, that's unlucky. It's a good effort. He had a nice line. Well, maybe. What's the gist? Good safety there from Dom. Whoa, saying, saying. Does it cut? Let's have a look. Oh, it's off the cushion as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah it's the distance. No, I, 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 would, take, I would take that all day long. You have to get your monocle out for this one. <laughs> 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 Just have a look. <laughs> Got to go for this. and uh, John's to break. Oh, that looks like it's a dreaded seco one. It's in Spanish, seco for dry. Seco. All I know in Spanish is calvo, which means bald. Which uh, 
serves no purpose to anyone really. <laughs> well, I do. I do know quite quite a bit of Spanish actually because I lived there for four years. <coughs> anyone? Uh, anyone listening want to want to try and guess where I lived? Which uh, which part of Spain? I'm going to have a crack at Barcelona. Well, that was a quick competition. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I'm no psychic. He told me that. He just forgot yeah. that he told me that. Barcelona. <laughs> Barcelona. Yeah, well, I worked there for uh, the pre-Olympics in 1992. So, uh, Fantastic. Yeah, if, if you've ever been to uh, Barcelona and you go down to the port and you see the big big hotel and you see the brass fish... Yeah, I was a. Uh, yeah. I, I helped build that brass fish <laughs> with everything else. Yeah. Oh, or, yeah. Well, the saying going: if, if you stand to the side of that brass fish, there's a there's a circular. Uh, I was just, just going to say circular sphere, but there's a, a circular object, brass object, on top of the cafe. And if you stand at a certain position, it's the fish's eye. Fish's eye. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Um, but that's all well and good. But have you? In Spain, shopped in the Primark in Madrid. Five floors of cheap, cheap clothes. <laughs> now, it's not really my idea <laughs> of a great day, but that's a great shot. Yeah, mm. Oh, they could they could be going for it here. No, just safety from Jen. I think that's wise considering uh, the other yellows are not there. No, exactly. I'll, I'll be definitely be developing a ball. I suppose there's a good chance now to uh, take the one to the middle. Bit of bottom left, bring off the cushion into the red on the rail. Absolutely. As long as it's not a China plate. <laughs> Grandma's China plate. That, that would be a good prize, wouldn't it? <laughs> or whatever, having a, bit, having a bit of banter at the table. Yeah. Always nice to see. Absolutely. Do you know, I mean, when, when, when you're playing pool, like, you know, is a, obviously it, mean, it means a lot because they're in the final. Do you, would you rather play in silence or would you rather have like banter and heckling from the crowd? Um, depends on the mood, really. Sometimes I think silence is when you need to be more focused, because um, you, you know you could have, like, like we said earlier, you could be anxious or nervous before a match, and those are the periods where I feel. Well, well I, I think it makes you worse if you're, if if you've got if you've got noise around, and, and obviously you you've got a bit of a banter and heckling from the crowd, but obviously not when you're down on the table. But I, fi I find it, if you've got that constant noise around, yeah. and then you go to take a shot and you've got quietness, it's like everything goes quiet, and uh, I, I think if that's more off putting than having a constant noise. Um, if it's quiet, it depends how many people are around the table. Is there one or two? Quietness is better. If there's a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the same in anything. If you're in the limelight, you're in the limelight. Eh? Mm. Yeah, just got those out. Yeah. So you can have. Get that red out and move that yellow up. Uh, or is he going to take one off I the yellow in the I middle? I would be touching that yellow on the left That's rail right. because. Very nice one. You know, they could pop their way around the others in the snooker. So, no. No value for me. I hope you've enjoyed the second stream. <laughs> the first one was going well. Yeah. Hold out, there might be a third yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. <laughs> oh, that's a nice shot. That is a lovely shot. Tell you what, if they clear up from this, they deserve the plate.
Thank you, Lloyd. Lloyd, Lloyd Banfield. Dom's brother. All part of the Legion. Yeah, no. Totally a shot I played. Low percentage. Well, not low. Get low. I'm not a fan of that shot. No. Not at all. I'd have uh, played it with some gusto and taken it into it. Yeah. But then again, we're not. We're not a few shots away from potentially losing, you know, so, so the nerves are hitting. I, I would like to see him get it back to eight all. Stand at a pool this evening. I yeah, think a bit, bit nervy at the start. Yeah, I, and I, I think the nerves are hitting a bit now as well. Yeah, crunch time, isn't it? Yeah, it's just yeah, to I get like it out. I like that. Yeah, good positive shot. Nice. So go on, go on, you go for it. Oh, he's going to go for the free ball plant, isn't he? Oh, is he? Because then he'd leave that other yellow on the black. No, I don't think I would. No, they're going to leave that there, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll take the uh, the long diagonal yellow. Double in the middle. Cross double with stun. Yeah. Maybe back cross it, maybe just leave it short, and then you can come down and actually knock the yellow in at the same time off it. Mm, yeah, I don't think I'll be playing this. That's, that's what I thought at first, but. I'll no, you just got a point. You could actually play like a plant here. Oh, yeah. that worked out well. It that did. worked out very well. It exactly what I said first time. <laughs> 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 A1 commentary there. Yeah. <laughs> We're supposed to have changed this one about four times. That is what you call an ultimate poor eye. Yeah. Great shot, great, great shot. Mm. So were they taking? Oh, I, um, don't know, I don't know if I've taken that one. Yeah. Just stun across it. Just sort of stun across the white. Mm. Uh, the, sorry, the black. Didn't even nudge into it and play it. Nah, nah, it's fine. Back in a straight line. No, that's the reason why I wouldn't have played it. I think I'd have, I'd have taken the yellow down first and uh, not the black out at the same time, then taken the one to the middle. But everyone's got a different view. Uh, what, what, yeah, I mean, uh, Ryan's been putting some good long ones tonight, you know. Let's have a look. We might go double, double long. Let's have a look from the bird's eye, see if we can see. Oh, not quite. Oh, he's nearly got it on the triple. Not quite there. They covered that top red. No, there it goes. I mean, you've basically got a free double here. Hmm. No, you haven't. I think that black. No, no, the black does. No, yeah, it does like going, yeah. yeah, it goes quite far. Yeah. Like the old sand, you get a lorry through there. I thought it was tank or bus. Wow. Or if you live in Egypt, you can get a camel through there. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. This could be it. Top red. Yep. Mm. Uh, Dom 
Tom's going to trickle this one up, I think. Looks good. In the middle, kick the black out, and then... Depends where the black kicks. I've seen a few blacks kicked to the rail. Yeah. That's got to be a pot for the win, isn't it? Oh, look. My, my friend Dom's on it. There you yeah. have it, 9-6. Yes, that's it. Well, great finish. So there you have it. So let us know in the comments what you thought. Um, good finish there. What do you think? Yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that. Very good finish, very good finish. It was a... Uh, yeah, when, when John played the red to the middle and kissed the black over. It was it's it black very reminds me nice. of a Stephen Hendry shot. Uh, mm. The Masters final against uh, Mark Williams. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, I remember that shot. It was on, you know, watch, watching the last few frames. Uh, I, I think Jan and Ryan, I, I think that they had two or three occasions to put the black in separate frames. Yep. And I don't know if the nerves got the better of them. I'm not sure because, you know, it's a... Uh, had a very good chance, very good chance to uh, get a bit closer. But no, it's very, very well. There you have it, your MDPL plate champion, Don Badfield, and John Bevan. Well done. Thank you, Barry. Thank you, Warren. Thank you for everyone for watching tonight. Uh, it's been a long slog, and thank you for sticking with us. Yeah. Don't forget to tune in on Saturday for our big money day of three matches, uh, plus updates of other scores going on at the same time. Um, continue to help us grow the stream and uh, bring the community into the modern polling world. So, oh, all the very fine. best. Um, we'll say good night, Stu. Uh, are we going to. Yeah, yeah we, we'll say good night. And. Uh, oh.